Oh, Evan, he's such a gentleman. Please, do come inside. Let me unlock the door for you. What the hell are you doing in here? Get the fuck out! Maybe it's because my wife has gone mental. No, wait. I think it's because some lunatics are trying to kill us. Other than that, no reason. Son of a bitch. I knew the family were going to cross the line. It was only a matter of time. Maybe it's time I cut my losses and ran. But it just isn't fair. I made my home here. Why should I have to leave? We're great. Just peachy. I love sitting in my house with my thumb up my ass. Tell Mr. King that sitting here all day isn't going to make us any safer. We need to take action. Well, he's town mayor or sheriff or whatever he calls himself. He calls all the shots. When he says to get the heck indoors and stay put, we do that. Everyone is keeping themselves safe from the family. If I was you, I'd do the same. You want to know more? Talk to Evan King. They're low-life scum who decided to use Arafu as their own personal amusement park. Oh, they're a fun bunch. I'd take a shot at them if I could, but judging from what they did to the Brahmin, I wouldn't live long to tell about it. Good. Now... Hey, you must be exhausted from all that walking in this horrible heat. Oh, and hungry too. Sit, please. Braley Ewers is the name. Don't mind my husband, Kenneth. He woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. Dead tired, I bet, from the square dance in the barn last night. What a time we had. Oh, he's such a dear. I must remember to make more of those preserves he loves so much. Oh, my, I don't know. Mrs. West is probably whipping up a batch of her famous cookies, and all the kids are playing in the yards. It's so nice outside. The grass looks lovely this time of year. Well, I must speak to my husband about that. We could bring it up at the next Homeowners Association meeting. Ah, oh, I do love meetings so much. I think I'll bring muffins. What, what did they tell you? Everyone okay? The family must have gotten to them in the last attack. Sons of bitches! Damn it! If only we had more men, we could stand up to them! I'm sick of them terrorizing this town! Wait a minute. When you searched the West's place, did you find their son Ian's body? This has to be the work of the family. I've caught that weirdo leader of theirs talking to Ian down by the river. Look, I know I've asked a lot of you already. But you have to find that kid. He deserves better than all this. There used to be more families living here. Most of them have dismantled their shacks and moved on to greener pastures. Those that are still living here are keeping themselves indoors, thanks to the family. Thanks, kid. You're all right. Next time I see the family, there's going to be hell to pay. I'm just here to protect the merchandise.
Those monsters, they're, they're gonna get me. Those things, they keep coming, they scare me, make it stop. No, those things, they're right behind me, leave me alone. Those things, it's all their fault, they did this to us. No, you don't care. The grown-ups never cared. Now they're all dead. Well, fine. You'll just die, too. Please don't get mad at me. I'm scared. I don't know what to do. Just help me. Promise you'll help me. Those big things. They're all over Great Itch. And they killed everyone. Please, Mr. Please find my papa. Well, they're big, ugly things that crawl around on six legs. They got huge teeth and skitter around grabbing everything in their path. My papa would always say they're fucking ants. Well, that's what he used to call them anyway. I just call them fire ants. My papa had a gun. He said it hurt those things. But he said they were the dumbest fucking ants he ever saw. He kept telling everyone to shoot for their antenna. Whatever that means. Nah. Those things started coming around only in the last few months. At first, they just crawled around outside our town. But later, they came into town. And... Well, you know the rest. Alright. What is it? You will? Really? Thanks a whole lot. My house is the one closest to the huge sign and the old diner. Please, find my papa and make him come back. Well, there is the personal shelter next to the old diner. Papa always said to stay away from it. But I guess it's supposed to be safe. I'll head over there and wait inside. Hurry back. Look at this. We got us a wanderer all the way out here in Wilms Wharf. You must got some important business out here to be wandering around. But taint none of my beeswax what you're doing. But if you're interested in trading, maybe we can help each other. My boys are hunting lurks. Finest meat you could get, but it don't move around in your stomach like Mole Rack does. Right dangerous, those things. Just as soon take your head off as look at you. Watch yourself out here. They're all over. Some fellas came out here a while ago that said they was looking for some do-gooder that came out from one of them vaults. I told them I ain't seen nobody like that and sent them on their way. They might still be around here, though, if you think you can help them. 
We always need bullets. Takes damn near a hundred of them to kill a guai. We'll see you real 